Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video I'd like to talk about the FCU, Fused Connection Unit. It's a small device that works as a switch, as an isolator and also protects the cable on the load side of it. So here is a switch, uh, a neon light indicator that indicates this is on or off and on the left side you've got a 13 amp fuse As you see, it's here. It's easy to replace. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna tell you how to use it, where you can use it, and where it's convenient to use it. And at the end of this video, I'll also show you uh, how to wire it. So let's start it from the ring final circuit. In my previous video, I explained you. Uh, about the unfused spare. So this is the this is my drawing. This is the consumer unit ring. Uh, on the ring we've got six socket outlets: one, two, three, four, five, six. And also from this socket outlet we've got one unfused spare, which is here. The number of spares, unfused spares, is limited by the number of the sockets on the ring. So in this in this ring we've got six sockets on the ring. So on fuse spare we can have only six. So it doesn't matter if it comes from the socket outlet or from the junction box on the cable. You may ask why I can't have another spare of this spare and then another spare of this spare. Well, it's all about the this piece of cable. Because this is this cable is 2.5 twin and earth cable and it's rated 26 amps if clipped direct. Now this socket outlet is rated 13 amps but some good quality uh, socket outlets can take up to 19.5 amps. It's not easy to overload the socket outlet unless you put two heaters, let's say 2.5 kilowatts each and leave it for a long time. So then obviously the socket outlet starts melting down but the, this cable should be untouched as it's got rated 26 amps. The problem may occur when you add one more unfused spare to this spare and then another one. Then you plug here, let's say washing machine, here the dishwasher, here the tumble dryer. Then all of these items plugged into these three sockets can overload this cable and this starts burns because it take it can't take so much current so the right thing to do it is to install FCU fused connection unit somewhere in here on this piece of cable before the first unfused spare so now obviously this unfused spare and the rest becomes a fused spare because you've got the protector here the small device that protects this cable and the current drawn by all of the items plugged in these three sockets is limited to 13 amp fuse this one so all the items the power of the items is also limited to three kilowatts. So if you plug something which is more than three kilowatts obviously this fuse will blow. 13 amp fuse by 230 volts gives us about 3000 watts. That's three kilowatts. Another convenient way of using FCU is for the kitchen appliances. So this is the drawing of the kitchen, wall units, 
worktop, base unit, base unit, and obviously space for the dishwasher, another space for the washing machine. This needs single sockets under the worktop. So obviously you can take the cable straight from the, the socket outlets which is on the ring and connect it here as an unfused spare but I suggest and recommend to use the FCU between the socket on the ring and between the single socket you just install FCU and it works as a switch it's very convenient especially if you go away for example for a long period of time for holidays and then you want to just switch off the washing machine completely just for safety so then you just need you don't need to pull it out unplug it from this single socket outlet you can just switch it you can just switch it like this and the same with the dishwasher and many other appliances in the kitchen that are hidden or integrated under the worktop and another situation where you need to install FCU fused connection unit is where you install underflow heating mat and you take the power straight from the socket outlet instead of the consumer unit so here's our underflow heating mat here's a thermostat for the mat or controller here is the FCU and the socket outlet so when you take the power from the socket outlet you install FCU 13 amp FCU just below the thermostat and this in the future if you need to maintain the thermostat or something happened to other for heating mat you can easily switch it off in here using the FCU switch also you need to remember that this the load of the mat is limited by the 13 amp fuse here so the under for heating mat cannot exceed 13 amp so now I'm gonna show you how to wire the FCU when you turn it over you've got two supply terminals life supply and neutral supply and two load terminals neutral load and live load and also the earthing terminal when you connect both wires so to the supply you, you connect uh, the wires coming from the ring for example or from the mains to the load you connect the the wires that going into the fused spare or to the washing machine or dishwasher or underfloor heating mat so let's say this is our ring final circuit then we took the power from this socket up to the FCU and from FCU up to the fuse spare let's turn it over so as you see in this socket outlet that is on the ring we took neutral from the neutral terminal we took live from the live terminal and we connected two earthing wires to the earthing terminal then we connected all the wires to the supply side in the FCU coming from this socket outlet and this the fused spare we connect all the wires we took it from the load side and we connected to the terminals in this socket outlet